Go, 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 let's get it I'm a trapping fanatic, that shit automatic So I cannot turn it on or off okay. Bitches all on my dick, then she hop on my dick I'm like, why you keep hopping on and off? Your bitch all on my dick, she be doing the most I tell her little bitch, so extra Am my gun up on me, but I run up on me Niggas, they wanna fight, they some wrestlers Chris Prince would flex his muscles in front of Isagi, stating how now their two stories will collide, and a true protagonist will be chosen by luck. As if I'd let luck decide that. This is when the bastard Moochin team would get the ball, with not much time left at all. However, Kaiser and Noel Noah work together perfectly, and since we've seen Isagi work with the number one striker, and how good he could be, Kaiser's team up would be even greater. Noel Noah is of course guarded by Chris Prince, but even this master of a muscle head can't get the ball from him, especially when players like Kaiser and Ness are helping to perform a triangle right around him, to which he couldn't keep up with. Noel Noah gets the final pass and draws the attention of the defense, as then we see his pass to Kaiser. Kaiser himself prepares for another impact shot while looking at the ball, but it's stolen by Isagi. Don't focus too much on that muscle head. Wait, if you're back here, that means Isagi can only chuckle while kicking the ball forward? Now then, show me what it was like for you when you were a striker. Itoshi Sei is seen catching the pass as something is truly awakened within him. The pass was perfect, as his own are, as if it urged him to score. As he goes to shoot, it seems everyone was on guard, so the match wouldn't end. But then he had a realization. Sorry, but I'm not a striker anymore. So, continue to show me what truly makes you a master. As we then see Chris Prince grab the ball from Say's back heel pass and go to use a secret weapon. An unorthodox shot heads towards the goal with Gagamaru, not being able to predict which way it was going until it was stolen by Isagi midair. Chris Prince is seen with a face of shock, but Isagi goes to shoot and it's blocked by Nagi. This is where the match would end, and Isagi scoffs, but Chris Prince congratulates him on stopping that shot. With this win, they head into their next form of training. Now that they've gained the muscles to improve their body and house the madness that could change the world, they need to perfect the weapons that they've already gained through going in blue lock. So this is basically a skills training where Chris Prince makes their abilities become second nature to them and more efficient. Isagi and Sei train the hardest, however Nagi and Ryo are close behind. It was basically a 2 versus 2 every time they were on the pitch, as even Agi and Chiguri would get into it, making it a 3v3. Their next match would be against Barcha, a team based on freedom. Chris Prince would highlight during their strategy meeting that they need to evolve their current chemical reactions and turn them into explosive plays that can shake the entire pitch. So far, their ratings have only went up, well, not too high and not too fast either. Little by little, but Isagi was now worth 80 million yen, with Sei at 95 million. Isagi also develops the quasi-emperor eye into something else that is truly extraordinary that I can't get into just yet. And for the final days of their training, Manshine City would go all out. They don't waste a single hour, and it seems to benefit Isagi and his own weapons the most, as the striker that was now able to rival him, well, would only be Nagi and Agi. But even their aerial prowess wouldn't be able to keep up with his mixed direction plays. Soon, match day does arrive, and the players from Manshine City step up to face the free-flowing Barcher team. Both teams have a playstyle that should clash throughout this match. Freedom and madness. Bacher is the first to step up and speak to Isagi. So, I heard you destroyed Kaiser in your last match. No, I simply delayed him from devouring me. But now, in this match, I'll be able to score without any problems at all. If that's what you think, Isagi. Bacher would start with the ball as he dribbles forward, Nagi is the first one to confront him, causing him to smile. Even those new muscles won't allow you to dance with me. He completely shatters the defense of Nagi before getting closer and closer to the goal. He passes to Atoya who dribbles around and then does a back heel pass to Gomez. 
This is when the ball is floated over the heads of everyone to Batra, who performs a scissor shot, scoring the first goal. Batra then turns back, seeing the aggravated faces of Manchester City team, knowing that he scored so early on and it put them at a deficit. Just so simple. But he also sees Yoichi Isagi and Itoshi Sei just talking as they really haven't even moved from their starting positions. So, Batra is the heart of their team. Good. Hey Chris Prince, I'm making a change to our formation. Oh really? What explosive style do you have in mind, my student? Let's change to a 3-5-2. Oh, so you wish for only you and Nagi to be the heroes of this match. I'll allow it as long as you win. Isagi then smirks and Manshine's players will move around. Isagi starts and then passes the ball to Say before vanishing on the pitch. None of Barcher's players can even see him at this moment. This is when Levinho comments that the free spirit of Yoichi Isagi is wasted in Manshine City. There's no way for him to evolve while being there. This is when also Chris Prince laughs hysterically. You don't get it just yet, do you? Yoichi Isagi has all the pieces to become Japan's true hero. He just needed the body to do so as well. This is when we see Sei destroying the midfield with Ryo and Agi. Through their triangle passes, it opens up space for Isagi who then traps the ball with a defender near him. It's already too late. Batra, while watching, then realized something. When was the last time that he had seen Isagi's left-footed shot? Isagi would then look up as we see his new eyes. They're inspired by Blue Lock's latest chapter with Baru's predator eyes. As we now see Isagi quickly dribble and then spin around his defender performing a left-footed ignite shot. Everyone then wonders how they couldn't see him with the ball. As this is when it's revealed. Yoichi Isagi's greatest weapon. Diversion eyes. Which allow him to see a player's field of view but also predict where they would focus their attention on next based on the movements of their muscles and their joints. Pair this with his misdirection and you finally get Japan's true hero, Yoichi Isagi, the invisible striker. After scoring this goal, Isagi tells the Barcha players that there's no hope from this point on. As Barcha's team starts with the ball again and passes around, with Bachara still at their heart. As he looks up to see who was guarding him, there was no one but this is when his body was blocked off and then the ball was stolen. As we see Ryo acting like Isagi and Sei using this to steal the ball and then head towards goal as he dribbles with two defenders guarding him. You all are lukewarm players who have only been in Spain for less than a month. Let me show you what a year can do. Sei dances around them causing Levinho to get excited as this is when he gets ready to sub in as Sei completely devours them with calculated and strategic movements alongside his new found ego. Say then forces his own flow to emerge as he takes over the game, getting the ball now into open space. Isagi traps the ball with now Atoya trying to get back. Not so fast, Mr. Invisible. Isagi laughs and then vanishes again heading forward. But now, he doesn't even have the ball as this is where we see someone else who we haven't even seen much from. Shigiri cuts in with pure speed getting around the defenders with quick cuts and elasticos, getting into his zone. This is when he uses his 44 Panther shot and its grand reveal, allowing the team to go up by another point. Chigiri then walks over to Isagi in the two high five, with Otoya and even Bacho trying to think how that was possible. They were sure that Isagi still had the ball, so how did he keep so much attention on himself while not even having it? Levinho subs into the game, and so does Chris Prince, as this is where the final moments would truly matter. Bachara passes to his master and the two link up, dancing around everyone. Their chaotic movements shock everyone, and it also causes Levinho to get open. Keep dancing with the butterfly, you insects. He then shoots, only for Ryo to come out of nowhere and stop it, using Isagi's playstyle. He then turns, and perfectly passes the Nagi who had dropped into the midfield. Great pass, Ryo. Now let's get the last goal. Nagi dribbles around the defenders using quick cuts and his aerial abilities to his advantage. But as he's scanning around for Isagi, he can't find him at all, even when looking for him. 
This is when he's crowded, so he flicks the ball over his head and goes for the shot. However, out of nowhere, Izagi steals the ball and then turns his own body. A body that can house the madness within it, huh? Seems I've achieved that just a few days ago. Izagi then shows off another weapon that had been fully evolved. His strongest shot ever, as after seeing the Kaiser impact, he used it to create his own weapon. His true shot. The Ignite Impact. He shoots through the defense and scores the final goal of this match, making Manshine City undefeated in the Neo Egoist League. Say then walks over to Isagi, smiling while putting his arm around him. Keep serving me, Isagi, so we can change this shitty country. As after the match is when Isagi is dubbed the captain of this team and they begin practicing more and more. Since Chris Prince knows who their next opponent will be, he calls them into the meeting room to discuss strategy as they'll be facing Italy's Ubers team. Moreover, Baru, their current king and successor of Snuffy, their master, as he's the most famous and most expensive player in the Neo Egoist League still, besides Isagi of course. Isagi then looks forward towards the screen seeing Snuffy and their master and his eyes as they truly enticed him. So, you're the next on the list to devour. Well, Baru, I wonder how you've developed so far. Make sure you make this match fun for me. And this is when I'll end this series, as there isn't much left for me to go over since the Ubers match, at the time of making this video, is currently still going on. As I hope you guys have enjoyed this story so far, as in the future when the Neo Egoist League is complete, I'll always come back and revisit and finish the story because I know you guys want me to. But I have something coming soon that you guys will enjoy. So if you're ready to see the next Blue Lock What If that I have in store, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel as this is Zero and I'll catch you all on the next one.